All right, Shalom. We want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to all the hopeful elect that's uh, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. Um, we're going to get into a lesson. You know, it's a lesson that uh, brothers, you know, you first coming into the faith, you, you got to learn, you know, um, basically, you know, the company you keep. You know, so we're going to touch on good company and we're going to touch on bad company. It's a saying in the world, you are the company you keep. And um, that's something you actually learn in the truth, you know. Well, when you first come in, you got to uh, basically detach yourself from the world, you know. So, you know, because the more you're around them, the more them ways going to rub, rub off on you. And the more you're around Akim, the more them ways, you know, rub off on you. So, you know, without further ado. We're just going to get straight into it. I actually get the one first. The, the Proverbs one. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. Mm -hmm. It says, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but companion of fools shall be destroyed. See? It said, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Get a... Uh, uh, Psalms, first chapter. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but what? But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. A companion of fools shall be destroyed, man. You know, so a group of fools, they gonna be destroyed. But when you walking around a wise man, you know, then you gonna you gonna uh, you you gonna you gonna get that wisdom that he has, man. You know, and that's gonna lead you into your salvation, man. You know, with uh, what's what's the scripture? Mark the perfect man. Yeah, you know what it said? Yeah, I know it's, it's, I got it. Psalms 37. Okay. Did we get that? Oh, we can that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, you, you, you get with the wise man, you know? You get with that man of understanding, you shall be like him, man. You know? This is Psalms 37 and 37. Mark the perfect man and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. See? So you're supposed to mark them and behold the upright for the end of that man is peace, man. Mm. You know, so you got the apostles and elders, man. You you mark them, men. You know, because they've been in this faith for longer than mo uh, a lot of us been alive, you know. And if once you're in this faith, you know that this faith is a hard walk. You know, so for them men to be in that thing, you to, be, to still uh, be in the good graces of the Lord because we know them by their fruits. You know, you want to follow them, man. You want to follow the path that they've been walking, man. You know, you want to get that, get their pointers, man. You know? Um, that was it on that? Uh, the Proverbs 13? No, no, no. Was it on that? Proverbs 13? There was a little bit more. All right, go. You can go back. All right, I'll start from the top. This is Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but but a, com a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Right. Evil pursueth sinners... But to the righteous, good shall be repaid. See? So, them companion of fools, evil going to uh, pursue them, man. You know? But the righteous, you know, the wise men, they going to be repaid with good, with goodly rewards, man. You know? So, is, which side do you really want to be on, man? You know, the Heavenly Father, you use the discernment, you know, through the word to sift out who's the good and the bad, man. You know? And, and you follow the, the good, man. You know, you do that which is good. Uh, can you get the uh, Psalms? Yeah, this is Psalms 1 and 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Right. So, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, man. You know, it said, well, I'll read it again. The, the characteristics of the ungodly. Con. It says, it says, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Right. So you ain't going to stand in the way with them sinners, man. You know, because you got all these other people who try to come up against great millstones because they something that they don't like about them. But they the sinners, man. You know, or the scornful, the ones that keep scorning the most high's word. You know, they're clinging on to their own words. If you want to be like that, you want to band to them with like a group of Avengers, then you're going to be destroyed, man. You know? The men that, that, don't, that don't follow that multitude, man, that still stay on the, the straight and narrow with the Lord, they're going to be uh, repaid in the end. Repaid good. Was that in line? I think you can read up the verse yeah. 4. Yeah, it kind of. It's uh, verse 2. It says, But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, 
and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Right. See, in the in the Lord's law, what, what a righteous man is going to meditate day and night, man. You know, it was you got to be solitary or not. You know, but that's what this brotherhood is for, man. You know, because the majority of the world is against this. So you meditating in the law of the Lord. You know, and, but when you with brothers, you you feel at, at company. That's a good company you should have, man. You know. Morning. Okay. This verse is three. It says. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruits in his season. See, that, the, the, uh, the tree that's planted by the water, that's, it gets that nourishment, man. It's, it's able to grow. That's why it grows that good fruit. So if you uh, meditating in the law of the Lord, you're going to grow, you're going to be nourished up into a strong tree, man. You know, that's getting fed with the water continually, you know. But you can only do that when you're around righteous men. You know, you meditating in the loss, you know? So, yeah, uh, it says, His leaf also shall not be, shall not so wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Verse 4, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. See? Hey, so, <laughs> hey, the righteous... He going, he going, we'll read that verse again, the last verse. I can't remember what it said. Uh, verse 4, it says, the ungodly, un uh, let me read that. Oh, yeah, 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 it, it said, I got it, it says, and whatsoever he doeth, it shall prosper, man, you know? So if you, if you wise, and you meditating in the law, you're going to prosper. But it says, the ungodly are not, so they are like the chaff with the wind drives away. So they don't have no foundation, man, you know? They gonna be a uh, uh, chaff when them when them missiles come, man. Right. You know they not gonna make the cut. You know, uh, you can get Psalms one nineteen. Um, start from uh, sixty three, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, I said one nineteen, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, here we go. You can start from. Uh, yeah, 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 read verse 63. This is Psalms 119 and 63. I am a companion of all of them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. Right. See, so you that's who you want to be a companion of, of the ones that fear the Lord, the ones that keep his precepts, man. You know? You want to be around those men. And this is a man after the Most High's own heart. You know, so you want to follow in that lot. You want to be a part of the house of David, man. You know, that's the you don't want to be a part of the house of Saul, man. Those are the disobedient, man. You know, whom the, the, the Heavenly Father wasn't happy with, you know, <laughs> you, uh, the ones that uh, the Heavenly Father take their uh, spirit away from, you know, you don't want to be a part of that company. You want to be a companion uh, uh, of those that fear the Lord, man. Uh, jump to 74. Come on. They that fear thee, this is uh, Psalms 119 74. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me because I have hoped in thy word. See, and that's that company, you know, them that see that, that man. Is gonna be glad when they see him. They're gonna be glad when they see you following the laws, man, because that means you one of them. Or I, I would say you one of us, man. They're talk, referring to this thing about. Right. When we see a brother following, the, uh, that's listening, man, you know, they battling all these other doctrines and still walking that right path, man. We happy when we see that, man. Appreciate you know? It. Go ahead. It's Sirach 2 and 16. It says, They that fear Yahweh will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. See? You're going to seek that's what's well pleasing unto him, man. You know? That's 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 that company that you want to be a part a part of, man. You know? Was you done on that other song? One, this, this is one more verse. Okay. This is verse 79. It says, Let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Right. So those that fear the Lord, let them come to us, man. You know? We, we, we uphold the laws, man. We uphold the ways of the Heavenly Father. We're keeping the faith. So we want the ones of, the, of like mind to come unto us, man. You know, those are the ones we seek. We always say we're not here for all of Israel, man. Because the majority of Israel is wicked and rebellious, man. You know, stiff neck. You know, they don't want to do uh, right by the Heavenly Father, man. So we're not talking to those men. But the ones that is, they will awake to this truth and they try to the best of their ability to keep the faith. Those are the men that we want, you know, that we want to be a part of. Those are our brothers, man, you know? That's right. Um, you know, uh, 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 go ahead to, um, 
Ciroc 37. I got it right here. Okay, get that. This is Ciroc 37 and 12. But be Ciroc Ciroc 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Yeah. So he said his mind is is like unto how our mind, man. You know, and he was sorry sorrow with you if you should miscarry. You know? So 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 he you know, you down when you miscarry, he he going he gonna start with you like uh Joe one of his friends do. <laughs> Except they kept him they beat him down. You know? <laughs> you know? But the, but that that man is gonna help you up, man. You know, because he's uh, he's been he's been through them things. Or or maybe, you know, he maybe be learning from your situation. You know, but that love that love that the brothers have, most of the time the Heavenly Father had a somebody in the brotherhood there that you know that, that went through it that can help you through your situation, man. You know? Read that again now. This is uh, Sirach 37 and 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. Right, whom you knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, man. Because what? You tried that, man. You know, through the word. Keep going. Whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. Right. Whose mind is according to thy mind, man. Because we all, the ones that's in Yahweh Shai should have the same mind, man. You know? Uh, 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 the, uh, men that know the power of prayer, man. You know? <coughs> you know? Th those are the men that you want to be about. The ones that's really about this truth, man. Not the ones that just talking this truth, man. You know? You get the ones to rock. Come on, this is Sirach, six. Sirach 6 and 34. It says, Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willingly... Be willing to hear every goodly discourse and let not Oh so like it. it says be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape you. No, no, Sirach eight nine. Read that again now, the whole thing. Come on, this is uh Sirach six and thirty four. It says stand in the multitude of the elders. Right, it's telling you to stand in the multitude of the elders, man, because they obviously been in there. You know, you see uh uh, the apostles, they just started calling uh, other brothers elders, you know? Men that was in this thing since uh, apostles and them first came on new t uh, YouTube, you know? You follow them men as well. You follow the apostles. You know, you follow the elders under the apostles, man. You know, because they've been in this walk. They know how to do it, you know? You, you, uh, you be going through certain things. You watch one of them brothers' videos, you know? And that you be like, dang, that's what I'm going through right now. And they had that experience that helped you get through it. You know, you know that you're not in this thing alone, man. You know? It says, stand in the multitude of the elders. Go ahead. Uh, it says, and cleave, okay. and cleave unto him that is wise. Yeah, cleave unto him that's wise, man. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You know? They, 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 uh, in, the, the, in the world, they be like, you're a follower. You're supposed to be a follower of that which is good, man. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Scripture say that... The, the, uh, the Gentiles is going to cling to the house of Jacob, man. The ones that's actually doing the same thing. You know, so we're supposed to be that example to the ones that's still out there in darkness right now, man. You know? Right. And the word cleave means hold on. You right. got to hold on to them. You know, you, you don't want to lose them. Um, it says, be willing to hear every, every godly discourse. Right. And let the parables of understanding. Salakia, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Mm, read that verse again. It says, Be willing to hear every godly discourse, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Yeah, so you got to be willing to hear every uh, godly discourse, man. You know, you got to be wanting, you, you, you got to want to read the scriptures and uh, uh, watch the videos, man. You got to want to be out there on the streets, man. You know, and you got to want to hear that. You know, you uh, we always say, man, you got to make sure you watch the apostles' videos, man. You know? They said what? Let, let not the parables escape thee. You don't want to miss those, those, them, them, them high topic um, lessons that brothers be putting out in Israel, man. You don't want to fall behind on the knowledge. You want to get everything that you can, man, so that you may be saved. Because we know that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our time, man. You know? That was it on that? Nah, it's one more. Mm -hmm. It says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him, and let 
thy foot where the steps of his door. Yep. So you said, if you see a man of understanding, get thee beat times, which means early. So you go early into him, right? You know? It says, let, it says, what, let his what be the door? It says, and let, let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy foot wear the steps of his door, man. So as soon as he walk out, you should be right there, man. You know, you should always be on there. But well, today is the equivalent. Your brother do a live show, <laughs> and you comment immediately. You know, you 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 attentive to this thing. Now, as the volume of the video is coming out now, is you really can't keep up with it. But you're doing something in the word, man. You know, that's why it says uh, Malachi three, verse uh, I think it's sixteen. Okay, can you get it? Yeah, you can get it. It's uh, Malachi 3 and 16. It says, Then they that fear Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And in a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh, and that brought Salaki, and that thought upon his name. Right. Who going to think upon his name, man? That good company. You know, the, the good company, they're going to think about the, the Heavenly Father's name, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushat, you know, what they stand for. You know, it says, they that feared Yahweh, which we said that we want to be around the ones that fear the Lord, you know, they spake often one to another because we all we got in this world, you know. So that's another good thing of why you uh, speaking one to another. You know, you may be helping the brother up, you know. And, and basically, it's just showing that you're separating your company. You know, you're going to cling on to your own kind, as the scriptures say, man. In the times of war, that's what you cling on to, and, and we're doing that spiritually, you know? That's right. Uh, can you get a, a, a Amos 3 and 2? You know, and we're going to get some of the bad company. We got some of them. You just want to touch on a couple, you know, because the Bible uh, gives uh, characteristics of these men, you know? This is Amos 3 and 2. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. Mm -hmm. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Right. Can two walk together except they be agreed? You know, we find that and we find out, no. You can't because you can't be around a man that uh, wants to commit adultery, man. You know? And you're going to be looked at that like. That's why the scriptures say, hold on, let me find it. Indiscreet. It says, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, dang, dang, dang. All right, somebody gets the rock 27 to 12. He got it. One of y'all got it. He got it. Come stand. You got this, it. Yeah, sure. okay. this, Let me get that real quick. This is the rock 27 and 12. It says, If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the times. But be continually among men of understanding. Right. So when you're among the indiscreet, the ones that, you know, sh shameless, you know, observe the times, man. Because if judgment about to come, come upon him, you with that, man. You guilty by association, man. You know, the person just going to take you, like, like if somebody committing adultery, and you chilling with him. And a dude come back, like, you mess with my wife. He kill you. You with him. Well, you know, you don't know what that man's going to do. And, and what, in the times of judgment right now, the Heavenly Father want to take Jake, you know, two-thirds of Jake, you know, got to go first, man. You know, he going to start at, the, at his house first. He cleaning up Israel first, man. So you among that indiscreet, you know, you, you brought it upon yourself, man. You know, the apostles give warnings. You don't be in the clubs, man. You know, because it's, it's bad spirits, man. That stuff is real, man. You know, so you got to learn to shed your, 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 yourself from them, man. You know? You got something? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a second Corinthians six and fourteen. Yeah. Be ye not unequ unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Hamashiach with Belial, mm -hmm. or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? Right. Because the Heavenly Father wants you to be separate, man. We're supposed to be separate. That's how he wanted us to be separate from the other nations that, you know, in the beginning, you know. We're going to be holy, you know. And that's how we're going to be perfect. You, you cutting off the ways of the, 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 the abominations, you know. They did abominable work, so the Heavenly Father wanted us to separate ourselves from that, which 
we gonna do from Israel as well. The rest of Israel that, that wanna be niggas, that cling to them bywords, man. You know, we separating ourselves from them ways and coming back into the laws of the Heavenly Father. Those are the people we wanna be with, you know? So don't be unequally yoked. Don't be yoked with them men. You know? And that's going to rub off on you. <laughs> you don't want that spot in the flesh, man. You know? Get, uh, Proverbs 24 and 1. Or oh, you want to done with you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Uh, right. it's, it's Proverbs 24 and 1. It says, Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. Mm. Mm. Read that again. Uh, Proverbs 24 and 1. It says, be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them. Right, don't be envious of evil men, man. You know, because you see them might like, prosper in this evil world, and you want to be, you want to do what they do. You see them getting the, 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 the woman of this world, you want to do what they do. You know, don't even desire to be with them men. You know, sometimes it's men that you used to grow up with in the world. You know, you became a new man. You put away them childish things. That don't mean nothing to you no more, man. You know, the, the woman here is polluted anyway, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Come on. This is Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Mm. So you're supposed to go away. Once you hear the scripture say the trial of men is in his, his speech, roughly paraphrasing. So it says, once you hear, it said, go away from that foolish man once you read that again. Come on. This is Proverbs 14 and 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man. When thou perceivest not in, in, in the lips of knowledge. When thou perceivest not in him the, the lips of knowledge, man. So when you open his mouth and you see that he a fool, don't even deal with him. You know? Or in this world, you, you play the serpent. You be harmless as doves. You know? You be kind to, you know, to all men if you, if, if you can. But you plan them. You being the serpent. You know? You play them. You know? You know they don't really know what they're doing. They bugged out. You get all attached to that man, you're going to be all bugged out out your mind too, man. You know? You, you got to be in this thing for you. You know? And the ones that's all that like mine. You know? Uh, what else they get? Uh, it's 1 Corinthians 15 and 33. It says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Yeah, evil communications corrupt good manners, man. You know? So you, 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 <laughs> you being around evil men... Yeah, it's, it might it may seep in to corrupt you, man, because you're gonna start to you gonna think like a man and like them men, you know. But you don't really know what good is unless you go by the standard, man, you know. Get out. First John two, yeah. you got that? Are you looking at that? You, you had something though? No. Well, right. Two and nineteen. Yeah. It says, well, we're starting from fifteen. Oh, okay. It says uh, this first John two and fifteen. It says, love not the world. Neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right, and that goes for the people in this world, man. You know? Don't love the world. <laughs> you know? Because the world is against the Heavenly Father. Any man love this world, then the love of the Heavenly Father ain't in you, man. You know? You see a man loving this world to care about this world too much, you got to watch that man in him, you know? Keep a distance. You know, you see that he got that worldly spirit on him. Yeah, uh, no. Okay. It says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, See, but it's of the world. Yeah, all that stuff that you see, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, that's not coming from the Father, man. We know we're not in our rest right now. You know, that's just being temptations to put you into this world. You know, it's not other father though. You right. know, it says the pride of life. You know, that's that's loving your own life. Mm -hmm. You know, having that pride about yourself. Right. Um, it says Let's verse see seven. Yeah, we go. Verse seventeen. It says, and the world passes, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Little see? children. He that doeth the will of the Most High abide forever. What verse you at? 17. Okay. You want to read 19? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. It says, Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Salakia, the Antichamashiach shall come. Even now are there many Antichamashiachs, whereby we know that it is the last time. 
They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they have been of us, they would they would no doubt have continued with us. But they they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Right. Speaking yeah, they all not the sons of the Heavenly Father right now on this go round. You know? So hey, you don't, you don't be attached to them men that leave like that. Just because you thought he was a good brother. If he ain't stand up to this standard, he wasn't right. You know? It said if they was of us, they would they would have continued with us, man. You know? So, hey, be with that good company. You got something else? Cool. Mm -hmm. This is First Peter's 1 and 13. Psalms 26. It says, uh, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in mm -hmm. your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Yep. So I was talking about be ye separate, man. You know, gird up the loins of your mind to do them things, man. You know? You just broke it down. You, know, you got something to say on that, too? Blah, blah. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what we got? got a you couple more. Sound 26. Yeah, let's, let's end on that one. 26 and 4. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Psalms 26 and 4, it says, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with this this symbolist. Yep. So he, he have not sat with vain persons, man. And he not going to go uh, to them uh, this, this symbolist, man. The scriptures say they don't like a, a, a man that solved dissension or discord, you know. So the scripture said he don't be with them men, you know. Keep going. Okay. Uh, this verse 5 It says I have hated the con the congregation of evildoers and, and will not sit with the wicked Yeah I hated the congregation of evildoers And won't sit with the wicked So hey, this, that's King David He said I ha do not I hate them that hate thee O Lord You know Because you, you hear in the, the churches today They talk about some uh you, you got to love everyone. You know, God doesn't hate, but that's not true. You know, you're supposed to hate evil. You're supposed to hate evil doers, man. You know, and then you don't want to sit with them, man. You don't desire their company. And that's not what the Lord did when he sat with publicans and sinners, man, because those men was repenting, you know? That was it? Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, so, um, you know, that's pretty much it, man. You got you to gotta know, watch the company you keep, man. And you want the advice is to be among wise men, godly men, men that fear the Lord, and to stay away from evil men, man, uh, the fornicator, adulterers, man, murderers, you know, men uh, that's con that 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 want to uh, let off wrath, you know, men that's worldly. You want to stay away from those men, man, you know. So uh, hopefully that lesson was edifying, you know, uh, mostly to younger brothers, because it's something that we learning as we coming up in this thing, you know. Um, and with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. So I thank you all the hope for elect. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.